The importance of batching your visual content. When it comes to building your personal brand, visual content plays a vital role. As I like to say, if a picture paints a thousand words, a video paints a manuscript. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Abigail. I'm a personal brand content creator and coach. I help female entrepreneurs explore, expand, and express themselves to get visible and make impact. Your visual content communicates so much about your personal brand that the words simply can't convey as succinctly. So what is visual content? In the context of online marketing, these are all the digital files or assets that you use in conjunction with your copy or written content. Visual content can be photos, videos, or graphics. They're the visible tools that communicate the essence of your personal brand to your audience who, by the way, have too short an attention span for you to rely solely on written text as your main form of communication. Your visual content is what catches their eye and then leads them to that amazing blog post that you've written. So what is batching? Batching is the practice of blocking out chunks of time to focus all your attention and efforts on the singular task of creating several of the same types of things so that you're less distracted and you're leveraging your focus to create more than one item in a single session. This saves you time in the long run because you'll have arranged your workspace to give you easy access to everything you need to create each item instead of packing out and packing away those items each time you go to create a single item. For example, you might batch your dinners for the week. So you'd get out all the food processes, the pots, the utensils, all the vegetables you'd need for the various dishes and reuse and wash all the dishes in one go. You'd slice up all the vegetables in one go, heat several pots and pans on the stove at once, and package and freeze the various meals all at the same time too. So it might take you an entire afternoon to do, but you'd land up with a week's worth of meals prepared and frozen, and you'd only take out the kitchen tools once, wash the dishes once, and put them away once. A huge time saver in the long run. The same can be done for your visual content. So if you're taking photos for your next four blog posts, you can get all your gear out, get all your props, set up the lighting or the workspace once, and then create all your images for all four blog posts in one go. Then you can edit them all in one go and upload them all in one go. It's systematic and it's smart. You're also using less brain power because you're leveraging the same thought processes to create the related content. So you don't have to remind yourself what you were doing and you get done faster and with more energy. And here's why it's smart to batch your visual content creation. 100% of the content you don't create will not connect with your audience. You have to be in it to win it. And if you're not creating, publishing and sharing content on a consistent basis, you're becoming more forgetful by the day. The online space is noisy AF, and while the aim is not to become the loudest voice, you do want to become a voice that's heard by the right people at the right time, providing the right information that will lead them to read more and ultimately reach out to you for further assistance. But if you're not creating content that catches their eye, you miss all those opportunities to connect with them. Scheduling and batching your creation time increases the likelihood of you creating consistently. Life happens, shit happens, distractions happen. You might have started this year with the best of intentions, but if you don't actually physically do something about those intentions, they'll dissolve into nothingness along with that pile of lost hopes and dreams that you never took action on. You know the ones I'm talking about. When you've scheduled and carved out a set time slot for your visual content creation, you're more likely to get it done. I found it useful to decide that my own business is another client when it comes to prioritizing how to proportion my time and my focus. By adding my business to my list of clients, I'm holding myself accountable to get it done. Just like I would if I were being paid by a client. Because indirectly, that's exactly what's happening. If I don't create my content, I'll never find those clients who would pay me to do what I do. If you've already created your visual content for the next month, 
then it doesn't knock you quite as hard if something unexpected happens that requires your time and attention because you've already created what you needed to be created. Haphazard creation equals lack of cohesion. There's an argument for and against creating your visual content on the fly. On the one side, it's good to follow the inspiration and create when the feeling strikes. That's often when our best creations come to life. On the downside of that though, is that it can lead to a body of visual content that's disconnected, non-cohesive, and all over the place. When you batch create your content, you can cross-reference what came before and what comes after, and ensure that there's a golden thread that ties each separate piece of content together. This will increase your chances of keeping your viewers and readers around for longer, because the current piece of content flows naturally into the next when you've created them in a batched sitting. If you don't batch, it indicates that you haven't got your shit together. When you batch create your content and you highlight the golden thread that ties it all together as mentioned in the previous point, it demonstrates to your audience that you've got a plan, that you stick to the plan and you execute on the plan. As the saying goes, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So as evidenced by your approach to creating and sharing content on a consistent basis, your audience can extrapolate that you're just as organized and on top of things when it comes to the service that you provide. It's the walk your talk approach. For example, if you're a fitness instructor and you're telling clients that they need to burn X number of calories a day and eat healthy and they see you chomping on a pizza at 11 o'clock in the morning with your muffin top bulging out from under your pajama top, then they're less likely to come to you for health advice. So batching the creation of your visual content demonstrates that you're organized, that you've got a strategy and that you know what you're doing. Self-confidence and self-identity. Related to the previous point, when you create your visual content in batches, not only do you feel a sense of accomplishment, but you can also see the physical results of your efforts. The process of creating something tangible from what was merely an idea you had last week has the effect of increasing your self-confidence, demonstrates your ability to affect change, and elevates your self-perception because you create evidence that you're a person who follows through on what they intend. Self-discipline is a practice that leads to self-integrity. This benefit of batching your visual content creation is more significant than you probably realize. I've experienced it time and time again myself when I've created new photos or new videos or written out several blog posts in a day. It changes the way I see myself and it makes me feel good about myself. These good feelings then spill over into other areas of my business because hey, if I can do that thing, I can do anything. So now that you know how important it is to batch the creation of your visual content, you can watch the five step system of content creation in this video click the link here. And tell me, do you batch your visual content creation or have you left it to chance and hope that inspiration strikes? I'd love to hear your approach to creating your visual content. Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and found what I shared useful. I make these videos because I genuinely want to help you build your personal brand confidence. Kindness is contagious, so please be so kind as to like, share and comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. That way, karma can send more kindness your way. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and remember to explore, expand, and express yourself. As I like to say, if a picture paints, as I like to say, who, by the way, have too short an attention span for you to play, oh my goodness. So you'd get out all the food process, the online space is noisy AF and while in So now that you know how important it is to back They'll dissolve into nothingness. <laughs>